Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Money, Income, and Profit, where you learn what your parents never knew about money, how to get money, how to keep money, how to stack money. That's what we do here. Today's topic is a saucy one. Starting a business can be very challenging. There are so many things to do, and one of those things that must be done is the setup of your legal structure, because if you don't do this, and this is one of the things that need to be done first. If you don't do this, you could set yourself up to eventually lose everything. There are many people who will start a business, and let's be clear, if you're starting a business, you need to go ahead and put together your legal structure and your tax strategy first, before you make your first dollar, before you do any of that. This needs to be done first because what's going to happen is as you start to run your business, begin to make money, this thing's going to get further and further in the background. And the legal structure is insurance for your business. You don't drive your car without insurance. You have health insurance. You have life insurance. You have homeowners insurance. You should have business insurance because this is the thing that happens in our society. If you don't have any money, you don't really have to worry about anyone suing you. You're what's judge called judgment proof. But your business becomes successful and you start making money, there will be people who will want to come after you. It's just a matter of time. It's not a matter of when, it's just a matter of time. So you need to go ahead and put together your insurance policy by using these entities. The worst thing you can do is just start a business on a handshake, and this is what many people do. They'll do this with their friends, they'll do this with family, like we're in business together. And one of the bad things about our society is once you shake that person's hand and say we're in business together, a lot of things that go on in that person's life can impact yours. This is called a general partnership. One of the things you need to do is to set your legal structure up and have roles well-defined and spelled out so this doesn't happen to you. Because let's say you are in a business with a friend and your friend, you have this general partnership and your friend's wife is driving the company's truck. Guess what? Everyone is liable. You, your friend, and the wife. And everyone can be sued. Whereas if you had an LLC, that would not be the case. So a big thing is, and many entrepreneurs don't want to do this. It, it seems like this is too complicated. This seems like this is something that should be put off or something that's just too involved when it's very, very simple. For those of you who need more help, below the video, I have the art of holding companies, which will teach you how to set up a rock solid bulletproof legal structure. For those of you who are interested, it's below the video. Now, one of the things is from a legal asset protection, because there's many forms of asset protection, and the best is either an LLC, an incorporation, or a limited partnership. If you're running your business as a sole proprietorship, you're leaving yourself wide open for many types of harm. And once again, if your business is not making money, you really don't have to worry about much because no one's going to come after you. No one's going to, you can't get blood from a rock. However, if you're doing some stuff, you're stroking it out, you're making it money, you become a target. So one of the things you need to do is to set yourself up with these legal entities before your business begins rolling because Part of this is it's going to make you think about how you should set your business up. It's going to make you think about certain things that you normally would not think about. Like, okay, I have a partner. What is my partner's specific role in this business? What is my partner's protected income? You know, you, you have to spell this stuff out because when everybody does stuff on the handshake, things become very fuzzy. 
things become very unclear. Let's say you and your boy, you start a business and you find that you were doing like 70 to 80% of the work, but the agreement was to split the profits 50, 50. You're going to have a problem with that and you're going, and it's going to come up. It's like, look, I'm doing 70, 80% of the work, but we're, we, we, we agreed to split this, you know, half the profits. That's a problem. And these are the kind of things that slow and ongoing concern down because now you got to go back and redo stuff that should have been done before. If you have a CPA and an attorney, you need to bring both of them in the room because typically this is what people do. They'll go talk to their CPA. They'll go talk to their attorney typically to make sure that everybody's on the same page. You need to get these guys in the same room because your CPA is going to help you with your tax strategy and your, your lawyer is going to help you with your asset protection strategy and to make sure that everyone's speaking the same language, everyone's on the same page. You need to get these guys to meet at the same time to solve problems quickly, which can be hashed out in a matter of minutes versus you go into your CPA, then you go into your attorney, you go into your CPA, you go into your attorney. This is the thing. When you start a business, you are granting yourself all types of power. You're granting yourself the ability and you're creating an economic engine that can give you wealth and assets in the future. Typically, you know, uh, I have many people who talk to me who already have started a business who already have a LLC. My thing is it is best to do this right the first time because going back and trying to redo it can be complicated, expensive, and time consuming, especially if you had an LLC that you've already filed taxes upon that gets to be interesting, but there's ways that in created in the art of holding how to help you with that because a bigger part of putting together your insurance policy is you don't understand what gaining new wealth and assets is going to do to your life. Believe it or not, there will be people who may stop talking to you. There will be people who will act a certain kind of way. And once again, you'll become a target. So to set this up correctly, you need to do this from day one. This should be part of your business planning strategy because you should ask yourself many questions because if you don't do this, this could come back to haunt you once your business is mature. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're going to start a business where you're going to bring on many investors. That automatically dictates that you should start an ink, an incorporation, because as you bring on investors, you can sell them shares of the company for their money, which then they will be repaid as the company grows and the shares increase in value. So you're not on a loan schedule. This is one of the reasons that the, the big venture capital firms loan money because they're looking to get a payoff down the road and they're not looking at it as quote a loan. So if you're going to be getting a lot of people investing, you're maybe going to start an investment club or something like that, where you're going to have people constantly buying in, you need to start an incorporation and you need to talk to an attorney and a CPA about your plans and stuff in the future. You should lock this in now, spend money now to prevent losing money later. You can go ahead and get your CPA and buy an hour of their time get your attorney by an hour of their time and save so many problems and so many consequences of things that you want to have achieved in the future. Because, you know, I'm with you. I feel that your business is going to take off. I feel that you're going to make money. And once you make money, you become a target. And this is the, you know, the, the beauty of being an American citizen and having the privilege to start a company in these United States of America. The government is on your side. LLC, incorporation, limited partnership. The government is on your side. This country was designed for business owners. You get tax breaks, you get deductions, you get to chart your own destiny. And also, are you gonna fire yourself? 
but that's something you would do. So I want you to watch this video three to four times so you get everything, and then I want you to execute. And if you're a person who already has a business in the art of holding, which is the links below the video, I have a few remedies, but you've got to do them exactly step by step. You must do them immediately. You must do them specifically, and you can't skip any steps. You can't half step because this could have negative consequences in the future. Once you start your business, and this isn't to be confused with a hustle. You know, you could be hustling on eBay or Amazon. You don't necessarily need an LLC. And if your hustle, you know, starts to blow up on you, then you can create an LLC. But if you're creating a business, something that you're going to invest a lot of time, effort and money into, you need to go ahead and make sure that you set up your legal structure from day one. And the preferred legal structure that the big boys do, the Googles, the Amazon, the uh, Warren, but you know, the Berkshire Hathaways, they have a holding company and they have an operating company because this each layer provides more protection and more insurance. So that's what you will find in the art of holding if you so desire. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And if you have a question, be sure to ask on Instagram, money, income, and profit. That's my Instagram handle. So if you are looking for additional behind the scenes stuff, that's where that would be. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.